Something also great, Karen, is uh, the temperatures are cooler. Our Dallas City time, time lapse shows that we saw the cloud cover really increase for us. A couple of little sprinkles are showing up on the lens as we went through the last hour or so. I expect more coverage of rain as the morning progresses into the early afternoon. You see on the first alert satellite and radar combined uh, that we have rain now developing through parts of Jackett County, stretching our way all the way down to near Breckenridge. So uh, this is with the front that's on its way into North Texas, sliding its way slowly down to the south and east. And as it moves its way on through, we're going to be dealing with those rain chances going up through our late morning hours and it's much needed rain. I anticipate right around midday our precip chances around 60% then off and on through the afternoon hours 40 to 50% chances. So we do have still some peaks of sunshine, but mostly cloudy skies being reported at DFW at 84 degrees northeasterly wind at 10. So we're seeing that wind starting to shift around just a bit. Uh, temperature right now in Sherman 79, but it's 88 in Hillsboro. It's going to take some time for that cool air to make its way all the way through North Texas. We're sitting at 83 in Greenville to 82 in McKinney and 85 in Midlothian. As we go through the remainder of the day today, you saw the precip chance forecast. I'm forecasting about 91. Uh, that feels like temperature. I don't really think we're going to be making it up to a 101 uh, because of that rain that's kind of sticking around. You see that on the first alert future cast, uh, the scattered shower activity really increasing in more coverage going into the early afternoon hours. Then as the front kind of moves its way down to the south and stalls, I think south of 20 through our late afternoon hours into the evening hours, more storms back into the forecast. And then going through your Saturday, it's mainly dry for most of us, a 20% chance of some isolated showers, maybe a storm popping up as we go into the afternoon. So today, temperatures mid 80s to the upper 80s to the low 90s, or even the 70s in some spots. It's a different story down in the Yucatan Peninsula. You can see the visible satellite showing that center of circulation continue to make its way over land and continuing to weaken. So Hurricane Barrel again, 7 o'clock advisory showing it's going to continue to make its way to the west northwest. And look at the forecast models. Notice how they're starting to turn a little bit more east northeast. So this is the latest update. If you look at this yellow one, that's the Hurricane WRF, Hurricane Wurf. Uh, that's kind of like the blend of all of these. It's pulling it a little bit further towards the east. So it's something I'm going to keep my eyes on as we go through the next few days. The official forecast track has barrel working its way to the northwest, then increasing to a Category 1 hurricane by the time we go to Sunday night into Monday, possibly making landfall along South Padre Island. That might shift towards the northeast a little bit more. But what's interesting is as we look five days out, that cone of uncertainty does include North Texas. We could see some tropical rains here in North Texas going into next week. I just want to get to that graphic real fast to show you that depending on the path of barrel, some spots of North Texas may be up to seven inches of rain. So the first alert seven day forecast shows also the effects. Temperatures will be in the mid 90s Sunday by Monday, 90 degrees. Rain chances and storm chances 50%. But then Tuesday into Wednesday, tracking barrel or the remnants will see temperatures in the 80s. Coverage about 70%, then by Thursday drying out in a high of 92.